Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2008. So we are here with this problem 3 of your paper. So let us firstly have a look on this problem what it says. This problem is basically from the analysis and from the part improper integrals. So let us have a look on this problem. Let Sn is equal to, so we have Sn a complicated integral, then as n goes to infinity, the sequence Sn tends to. So you have this difficult integral that uh, is little bit difficult to solve. So you need to check whether Sn tends to 0, 1 by 2, 1 or infinity. So these are your options. So now let me write your Sn properly, what your Sn is. So you have your Sn 0 to 1 n x to the power n minus 1 over 1 plus x dx. Okay. So this integral is little bit difficult to solve but what one can do if you if you will use little bit tricks you will be easily uh, solving this question. Okay. So now see what I will do. Okay. Firstly, I will take your n outside of it. Okay, now see what is the important catch of this problem. The important catch is that your x is belonging to 0 to 1, right? Your x is in 0 to 1. Now, since your x is in 0 to 1, that means this quantity, which is in the numerator part, is always less than or equal to 1. Now the quantity that is in, in the denominator part, it's greater than 1, always greater than 1. That means this integral is a bounded integral. Are you getting my point or not? Now the problem arises here because your n, if n goes to infinity, this n into this thing, okay, will create a problem because you know this is bounded, but you don't know whether it is tending to 0 or not. Are you getting my point? So this thing, you can say it is in between 0 and 1. But what happens if it tends to 0? If this integral tends to 0 when n goes to infinity, then infinity into 0 is an indeterminate form. Are you getting my point or not? So since it's an indeterminate form, that's why you cannot directly put your limit n goes to infinity here. Okay, even though it is bounded, you cannot do that. Because, now let me prove this thing for you. So first thing that we will prove here is this integral x to the power n minus 1 over 1 plus x. This integral actually goes to 0 when your n goes to infinity, right? And why is that possible? Because this 1 over 1 plus x, okay, this integral, the, uh, this function that we have is a bounded function, right? When x is in 0, 1, I am talking about that. This is a bounded function. So what you can do, you can replace m over here. Okay, there will be an inequality over here. So you can replace that. So what you will get, you will get this kind of thing. Now see, when n goes to infinity, this quantity over here is in 0 to 1, right? Open 0 to 1. So when n goes to infinity, this quantity, okay, I should write properly. What will be the integral? Integral will be like this. Now this quantity is between 0 to 1. So what you will get, you are getting that this integral is actually less than or equal to m over n. So when n goes to infinity, this goes to 0. Okay, so now the problem arises for us. Because this integral, when n goes to infinity, this is going to 0. The, the n is going to infinity. So finally, what you are getting? Indeterminate form. Okay. So you, you cannot proceed with that. Are you getting my point? So now the problem is very much clear that what you can do and what you cannot do. So firstly, you need to evaluate this integral. Okay. Otherwise, there will be a problem. Are you getting my point? So now let us proceed. So the whole thing that is creating a problem here is this n. So this n is creating a problem for us. So what we should do, we should try some uh, tricks so that this n will be eliminated from this part. 
So how you can do that? Uh, I will show you this here. So what I am going to do, I will just write like this, this integral like this 0 to 1 n plus 1. Okay, n plus 1 x to the power n minus 1 over 1 plus x minus x to the power n minus 1 over 1 plus x dx. What I have done, I have added this thing. Okay, and subtracted this thing, nothing else. Now see, SN, what I can do, I can separate my integral now. So n plus one will lie outside. So what you will get, you will get x to the power n minus one over one plus x, right? dx minus x to the power n minus one over one plus x dx. Okay, so this is what you will get. Now, consider this one, okay, I should write it properly, then only you can see what it means actually. So I should write this as one over one plus x. Now you are very much clear what I am talking. I am talking about the integration by parts because that will help us, right? So now it will be very much clear in a moment that what I am doing. So just take this as a note for you. Now see, if you will apply integration by parts on this and consider this as your uh, second function and this as your first function, then what will happen? Okay, I should write, consider this as your first function, this as your second, sorry this as your second function and this as your first function. So what will happen? I will write here. You will get n plus one over here. Now, what is the integration of x to the power n minus one? It's x to the power n over n dot one over one plus x minus times of, what is the integration of it? Okay, I hope you remember that rule integration by parts. So that's why I'm not explaining here what I'm doing. I'm just applying integration by parts, parts over it. Okay, now see, when you will place uh, your upper limit that is one inside of it, what will happen? You will get n plus one from outside, it's from outside. In the inside thing, you will get one over n dot one over two. Now here, what you will get? Okay, if you will place zero, you will get zero. So this is the final answer that you will get, right? n plus one over n. So here you are getting x to the power n over x plus one to the whole square. Okay, I should uh, it is this thing. Okay. So what are you getting? You're getting two over here and this symbol is at sign is actually a positive sign. Okay. Now it's very much clear that what I'm going to do. So what I have done here is this problem, this problem of n plus one has been removed now. Why? Because if you will tend your n to infinity, this will not go to infinity because n is over here. So what th this number will go to one. Are you getting my point? Now th the problem here also goes to one. And here what you are getting this integral that we have already proved that it will go to zero. This integral will again go to zero. Are you getting my point or not? So the same thing will work for this one. Okay, this note, however, this integral is different from this one. But what is similar is this thing that it's a bounded thing. One over one plus X whole square is also bounded. Okay, this is why these two integral are same. However, they are different, but according to this way, they are same. So what is your SN now? I should write it properly. It's one plus one over N multiplied with one over two plus one plus one over n multiplied with this integral 
which I have written here minus this integral which I have written here so C now this integral goes to 0 okay I have already proved that so when n goes to infinity this thing is 0 for you this thing is also 0 this thing will goes to 1 so finally what is happening here when n is going to infinity sn goes to 1 over 2 so this is the final result that we have sn goes to 1 over 2 are you getting my point or not so what is the important catch here is this integral this is the very important integral that we have proved that it will goes to zero and using this integral we can solve the another thing that we have done here is this trick okay this trick if you are not able to separate your n because your n is going to infinity that is creating a problem for us because this integral is very simple you know that when n goes to infinity this integral will goes to zero but what is creating a problem this n is creating a problem for us and what we have done using the integration by parts we have separated that n we have separated that n with a finite quantity so that's why you have this one here using that trick we are we were able to uh, separate this n as a finite quantity now you can product these two things because 1 into 0 is 0 so sn goes to 1 over 2 this is the final answer okay i hope you understand so if you not you can comment us so a is your incorrect option b is correct c is incorrect d is uh, incorrect okay so thank you